It's the first market on Maine of the season, and local singer Roland Berg is the entertainment. The market runs every Saturday morning next to Town Hall, and the May sun is shining. The market draws a mix of vendors, including craftspeople, farm produce sellers, local wineries, and craft distilleries. Carrie Lynn McDougall sells hula hoops and teaches people to use them. Most of her customers are adults who have discovered hula hooping is great exercise. Um, well, it tightens your core muscles. It uh, massages your internal organs. So by doing that, it massages that stomach fat. That's the hardest fat on our body. Like if you were to say start carving and you were carving wood or you were carving stone, the wood would be like your legs and your arms. It loses fat easy and burns it easy, but the stomach fat is the hardest fat on the body. It'd be more like the rock. And so it helps to massage it, helps to soften it. It uh, increases your spinal strength and flexibility. Um, uh, what else does it do? It improves digestion. She's new to the area, so Market on Main is a great way to get known. Well, it just gets my name out there. It gets people moving and people like the hula hoops. And it's a cheap way to get exercising, right? You don't have to invest a lot of money. You just invest a little bit. You have fun. Because it's fun. Like, let's face it, hula hooping is fun. It's a mood enhancer. It gets people excited. It makes them feel like a child. Wayne Jasper of Tumbleweed Distillery also sees the market as a way to get known. Not everybody drives past the craft distillery on Lakeshore Drive. Our most popular is our gin. Uh, it's a really... Uh, Wonderful gin. It's a London dry style gin, but flavored with a lot of botanicals. We use lavender and uh, a number of other uh, uh, flavors in with it. Uh, we also have our apple pie moonshine, which and our, our maple moonshine is here as well. Our cherry moonshine is a very limited release of that one, and that's our second most popular. Plus, we also make some uh, nice whiskey and uh, gin and vodka. So. It is a farmer's market, even if the beginning of May is too early for this year's crop. Chris Wolf of Flip Flop Farms and Catitude Creations from Coston was selling last season's apples, fresh from cold storage, as well as young plants for people who want to try farming in their gardens. He's growing other produce on his farm, and some of it will make it here later this season. Cherries, and also then there'll be ground crops as well, so there'll be uh, heirloom variety potatoes, uh, there'll also be tomatoes, beet squash, uh, radish, things like that, carrots, so yeah, a good variety, like so hopefully through, we'll have plenty of produce and that to keep everybody going through the season. Janice St. Louis, president of Market on Main, was pleased with the market's first day and looks forward to the season. And we've got um, some new vendors that we haven't had in the past and, and it's uh, actually we've got a good turnout for our first day, season, first day of the season. And uh, we've got some new bakeries. And this year, the market makes a couple changes. They've decided not to do the Wednesday markets, and the Saturday market will be closing at 1 instead of 2. Yeah, we decided we'd try to uh, focus on what works best, and Saturdays work best for us. Sometimes Wednesday evenings, especially early in the season, it's difficult to get people to, to turn out to be vendors. And um, with the hours, we were going till two before and it got pretty hot then so we decided that we would just concentrate our hours and when people are walking around so nine till one. St. Louis books all the music and she's got musicians lined up until the market shuts down at the end of September.